Today we will try to predict the future. We are having here six cards on a table. Each card is representing one number on dice. We will now ask spectator to roll the dice freely like this. And each time he will roll a number, we will turn over that card on a table like this. So in this case it is number four. Next number will be number six. So we will turn over six. Next is number three. We will turn over three. Next is number five, we will turn over five. So we have only two cards left, number one, which is the ace, and number two. So the next is number one. So there is only one card left on the table and that is number two. So I actually predicted the future correctly because I knew in advance that it will be number two as last card left on the table. You don't believe me? Well, let's have a look. Number two is the only card with red back. Now let's see the explanation. You can use playing cards as I did in my performance or if you don't wish to use playing cards you can create such cards with numbers on them. This is entirely up to you. Important is that number two will be always different. In my case it had a different colored back or you can write something on the back as well. Why it is uh, number two? Well, number two, it is very special number in our case because you will take your dice and you will search for number two. When you will find it, you will draw a little dot in the center, so it will seem that it is now number three. And of course, uh, when there is a dot in the center, there is uh, no number two existing on these dice anymore and spectator can never roll it. So it is a very simple secret, but be careful, spectators always or very frequently want to check the dice. So I recommend uh, to you to have a duplicate dice and then to switch it. So this was the trick, I hope you liked it. If yes, please give thumbs up. Thank you for attention, see you next time.